What up, YouTube Digital? Get my little training aid out. Ooh -wee. Um. Wait a minute here. Only in case I need you. Because for some reason this camera isn't that great. Sorry. Alright. Um, okay. Now we're going to look at a map here. Where uh, we're going to talk about that incident. Okay. Where it happened is this is Adi right here. Okay. The accident or whatever happened here. So, we're going to mark directions from here. This is, uh, if I zoomed in right here, you'll see a 7-Eleven where A is. 7-Eleven. Even though you can't read it because in, it's in Habib. But you can see the double yellow, white, 3 3 3 D, D, whatever. And then we made a left on this street right here, which is Sutro. And if you look up anything about Reno, Sutro, Gatto. 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 Now, I followed her. All the way down to... What the fuck is that anyways? What the fuck is here? What the fuck is all... Oh, this must be where they have all the bullfighting and shit. Because that's livestock. That must be where all they have that, the bull riding and shit. Alright, so... Sudro turns in. It goes down to here. This is where I finally got next to her. So, well, you guys can't even see it. So, I'm going to label it uh, uh, to here. Okay. Now I'm going to add a destination. She went along what was 9th Street, which is along this route right here. And I'm going to put it in that arrow, and I'm sorry that it sucks. But there's nothing here. This is, this is a hospital. She did not go there. Because the entrance is right here. She would not have gone this way. Uh, this is a something. This is a low income apartment complex. Uh, houses. But if you follow 9th. Under, back underneath the freeway. And you follow 9th back over to here. You come up to where there used to be a drive-in right here. 
there's a flea market. Now, let's just say you went up from here. You got a Walgreens, you got a Jack and a Crack. Is that where the Walgreens is? What's here? Yeah, Walgreens, yeah. She could have... Oh, on Silverport. Okay, here we go. If she would have went down Silverado from 9th Street, down Silverado, and then gone back into here, this is ghetto. This is ghetto land. And the reason I'm pointing this out, and this is a this is a regular elementary school, and this is a government school right here. This is if you've been bad, like I had to go to. Or if you can see the Hell's Angels house from here. I wonder if they allow you to see that. Right here. No. It's right here. the God of Hebrew. They blur it out. They blur it out so you can't see it. It's not too far from my home. But, uh... The funny thing is, is it's not too far from that high school or that junior high that got in a shooting either. That house is right here. That junior high was right here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, several things about that little deal. One, I didn't know it was a chick. Two, fuck her. Three, she had multiple times of pulling over saying, yo, sorry, my bad. Even if she waved. I mean, technically, she should have exchanged insurance information. Um, yeah. You notice she never passed that other car. It's like she wanted to get away, but not enough to alert police. Why? And then it got me thinking, why would I do that? 
Oh, it's probably stolen. She didn't even look at me. Now, come on. Could I made it more odd? Oh, and somebody brought up the, the, you know, like, following behind somebody thing. And I want to... Cops and statistics and shit. When said Altoid follows John and he's like this, okay, he is going to be on him so much that he's not going to see what's going on right here, okay? It's like that truck driver. If you can't see my mirror, I can't see you. Same principle. He's going to be up on him. That back window's tinted. I really can't see in. Unless somebody rolls down some windows. So, I'm going to be all up on him. And sure... They could shoot back at me. Usually it's a passenger, not the driver. Because think about it. If you're right handed, how are you going to shoot the person behind you? I mean, you're going to take your gun and. Are you going to, you know, kind of, you know? Now, with me, 50% over, now I could see this area right here. If something comes out, I could pull over to this side just as easy. I could pull over to this side, hit her and pit her. So, I stay over here for a few reasons. One, I'm all up in your shit. Two, there ain't no doubt, there ain't no question, I want to talk to you. And three, if something comes out of that window, plan B is going to roll into effect. They don't want to know what plan B is. Because that jetta gets up from a stop pretty fast and I bet I could pull over and drop two people off pretty quick I've chased people down before I'm not worried about that type of shit I've had a 30-30 pointed straight at my chest Enough times he stopped caring as much. But anyhow, I wanted to make it painfully obvious that I wanted to talk to her, to him, to somebody, to anybody, everybody screen but instead they took off and I knew from the beginning now that car was not behind me it was behind the car that was behind me 
and I still thought it was going to hit me. That's why I said, oh shit. Because I thought I was going to have a speaker box shoved up my ass. And... <clears throat> That person took all that way out of proportion because they wanted to get away from what? I didn't do, besides being out 50% over the line, I didn't do anything. I didn't play bumper cars. I didn't flash a weapon. I didn't flash a gang sign. I didn't flash anything like that. I didn't do anything illegal. They didn't call the cops. I know. So, why? People need to rapidly acknowledge these types of events and be able to spot them on the fly and know what they are. That bitch had drugs, I mean drugs, enough to get her 10 to 20 or as a repeat. Or that thing was stolen. Most likely stolen the route she was taken. I mean, even if she would have put her arm down and said, my bad. You know. Whatever. Okay, cool. We all make mistakes. It, it's life. I made them, everybody's made them. You know, just like when you get on the freeway and you're in the slow lane and on getting on the freeway is a big semi and it's kind of hard to tell for him how much distance he has and you turn on and off your lights to let him know that he has enough space to get on at night. A lot of people don't know that. That's why you'll see people do that. That's a driver telling another driver, Hey, I got you. It's cool. Get on. And usually they'll, they'll flicker their lights or whatever um, to thank you. You know, shit happens. It's no big deal. Deal with it, get on with it, and move on. But be careful who you do things to what and everything else to. Because you don't know who you're going to do it to. Before I broke my back, I would have known that was a female 300 feet up after the turn. I would have been around her and I would have had her ass stopped. And things might not have been as pleasant. Didn't say I'd do anything illegal. And unlike what people think, you can't just shoot people. And I know how to fuck with people in a way
that if they shoot me, they go to prison. Not that hard. It's not that hard at all. That whole stand your ground and all that other bullshit. Going to court. Say, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I thought the guy was a man. <laughs> I threw two punches at him and he shoots me. <laughs> I thought a man hit you back. <laughs> but anyway, different, different deal. But I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I just chased her down because I was being a dick. I wasn't being a dick. I was being a dick because my car's broke. No big deal, but I mean, come on. I was just looking for a sorry. But what was more interesting was what was really going on. And a lot of people didn't spot that.